everybody. I hope you're having a great day. It's beautiful. I hope you got a chance to get outside. And if you're joining us, thanks for coming in to watch this Facebook Live. I just want to put a couple of disclaimers out there. I know nothing about this. This is very difficult for me with this technology. My partner in crime knows more than I do, and she is doing a much better job with this than I am. So if there are some little blips along the way, please forgive us. This is the first time we tried this, and hopefully it's going to work okay. The second disclaimer, many of you have contacted me and wondered if you were going to be able to play a drinking game during this. The answer to that is no. We're here today to discuss the yarn. We'll play a drinking game at a different time. If you do enjoy this and would like to see more of these, please just let us know and um, we'll try to get some more up and running once we get a little bit more familiar with this. So anyway, again, my name's Peggy Langdon. I work here at Untangled Pearls. Untangled Pearls is a Rowan flagship store. And being that we do have a significant amount of our inventory devoted to Rowan, we always feature one of their yarns every month. And this month, we're featuring Soft Yak DK. Now, Soft Yak DK comes like this. You don't have to have it wound. That's nice. Um, it's a blend of cotton and yak and a little bit of nylon. So you actually get a really nice yarn to work with. You get the softness of like a cashmere kind of feel, but you get the strength and the durability of a little bit of a harder working yarn. This is a washable yarn in the machine. You can do that and it'll hold up very nicely. It also, you can't really see too much on the, um, whatever impetus we're working with here today. Um, but the yarn, if you see it in person, it comes in 19 different shades, glorious shades from really nice neutrals to really deep jewel tones. And the yak in the yarn takes the dye a little bit differently than the cotton. So you have a little bit of a color fluctuation where the yak pulls up a little darker and the cotton pulls up a little lighter and it makes a really nice marriage, a really nice blend. They do come in tons of different colors. Um, they're all um, 50 gram, uh, whatever these are, balls, I guess. And they knit up very well on a size six or size seven needle. They're a little bit of a heavier DK. So you can get a lot made out of these. So we wanted to give you a couple of ideas of some stuff that people in the store are working on. We have some great customers that are outrageously creative. And one of the first things I want to show you is this really pretty sweater. It's, it was made um, by a gal in here named Deb. And you can just see on the screen how beautifully those stitches are defined. The name of the sweater is Fold Lines. It's a pattern put out by Brooklyn Tweed. And I think she modified it a little bit to get the length of sleeve that she wanted. But those stitches stand out so beautifully. It's a shame to do a lot of work on a garment because garments do take a significant amount of time and not be able to see all the work that you put in. But you, th this is a really, well, I don't know where the camera is. This is a really good um, shower of that stitch definition. And we love this and we really thank Deb for letting us borrow her sweater to drop it off and it was an easy yeah, she oh, did sorry. say it was um, a really nice pattern to knit. You get real familiar with um, what's going on and you can get through it quite quickly. In addition to that sweater, I want to show you another sweater that one of our customers is working on where you can see that stitch definition. Again, this is the Oban sweater. This, and it's a work in progress. This is the back, but you can see all those beautiful sweat or all those beautiful cables that are on this um, sweater and how they stand out. And this is so soft. It, this could be worn all year long. You can wear this at the beach on a nice, if we ever get to the beach again, on a nice summer evening and you can wear this in the dead of winter. It's just a great weight, but look at how those stitches stand out and they just make all your work all the worthwhile because everybody can see it and that's cool. So Hung gave us this. She's one of our prolific knitters and she's doing a beautiful job. This is a class that um, Chris Adams is currently teaching and has made all kinds of 
technological breakthroughs so that she can continue that class online. So those are just two bar mitts that I wanted to show you. I've got some other things that I'd like to show you, but I'll take a little break and see if anybody has any questions. Anybody out there? Hello, everybody. I think it's really cool. I, I'm seeing these comments as they come up, and I know that they're a little bit um, delayed. But hi, Emily, I see that you're on, and I was going to show the uh, project that you're working on right now. Um, in addition to the sweaters, we put the staple a little bit too far from a reach. We have this knit along that's going on. Um, it's called the Moon Wake Cowl, and this is done, this is being done in the Soft Yak DK, and you can see the great standout colors, how beautiful they are. And sometimes people look at the yarn and think, oh, it looks a little boring. It's not boring at all. It blends, they all blend together beautifully and the colors really come out nicely. This is um, in the fair isle or stranded technique and the yarn holds up very nicely to this. It's being worked in the round and it looks absolutely gorgeous. And this is one of the colorways. Emily, who's on right now, she's doing a different one. You may have seen hers posted. Um, on our website or our Facebook page or somewhere. And then Shelly is starting one also. And look at the colors on that. It's just a totally different way of combining some of the different yarns to get a totally different feel and vibe with the product. But all you can't miss. Um, we had a customer in for an appointment today and she bought um, the yarn to do this because she's seen it on um, Facebook from us and she just loves it. So that's very cool. So there's another example of a great project if you didn't want to take a full-blown garment to start off your exploration of this yarn. You could do something that's a little bit smaller um, in the cowl. Here's just a nice kind of um, relaxing project. This is perfect for any level knitter. It's just a really cool hat. The name of this pattern is um, not that. It's called the Soft Yak Slouch Hat. And um, I believe this is on Ravelry. Is this on Ra This is on Ravelry if you wanted to make this hat. But the nice thing about this is that it's really warm, but it's not scratchy at all. It would feel good on your scalp and your forehead. And if you made it for a smaller child, they wouldn't be scratching and itching the whole time. And you get a chance to put two really pretty colors together. And you could even do this in three colors if you couldn't decide which of the beautiful colors there are. So there's a lot of patterns out there that support this yarn. Um, Rowan puts out a book. This is um, called Cape Bay. It's one of their newer books. It's designed by, um, all the patterns in here are designed by Martin Story. If you don't know Martin Story's work or aren't familiar with Martin, he is the nicest gentleman. I had the opportunity to meet him last year in Philadelphia at a Rowan event, and he's just unbelievable in his creativity. And there are projects for kids, gentlemen, ladies, anybody. They're all in here. Some have cables. Some are a little bit um, more simplistic, but they all feature the yarn beautifully. And that's um, the patterns that are in here are only available in this book. They're not available online, but you, you, yeah, they will be maybe, I don't know. I don't even want to speak to that, but right now I know they're only available and I, I'm wrong. I think they're available they online. They are. Individual patterns are available online. And you can go and look at the Knit Rowan website to see tons of different um, different garments that are on there. And in addition, there's this great little book. Um, this is from the designer Kim Hargrave. So it's not all um, it's not all the soft yak, but there's some there's a beautiful sweater in here that she makes with this and it's one of those really nice hooded cardigans if you can see that we all like those to 
kind of scrunch up in and it would be a lot of fun um, to wear. You'd look very dramatic making an entrance in that. And that also combines another yarn with it, our another favorite kid silk haze. So you get to really blend different yarns. And this is a great background yarn for doing that with. If you've never tried working with two different yarns at one time, it really is kind of a fun and exciting adventure you can go on. And in addition to hats and cowls and these two beautiful sweaters, we have um, a home accessory that was made. Oh, this is good. I don't have to, you don't get to see me. This is good. Um, this is a beautiful pillow designed by our shop favorites and recent visitors, Arne and Carlos, and our weaver, Chandelin. She made this pillow, and it's beautiful. And I can just imagine scrunching up on the couch, kind of cuddling up with this. It's so soft. It's really, really nice. And she did the front in the pattern, and then she did, picked another color and did the back in just a stock in that solid. And they, uh, Arne and Carlos have several um, home decor pillows that are out, including a new collection that you can, um, and they're all done in the soft yak, and you get all kinds of different um, opportunities to show your knitting skills using stranded color work and the like. Those are available on knitrowan.com if you would be interested in, in, in oh, no, those nope. are only on Arne and Carlos. Those, those are only on the Arne and Carlos website. Until they're completely. Until they're all released, then they'll go out. But you can get that just to, by going to arneandcarlos.com and follow the tabs on, on what comes up. So there are lots and lots of different projects from small to, you know, really the cabled sweater, which is quite time consuming, but they're all wonderful to knit. Your hands are never going to be sore. You're never going to feel like, ah, I need a break from that because it just works up wonderfully. Um, I'm seeing all kinds of people. Sebring, Florida. Wow. Hello. I see that you're working on the moon, the moon wake. That's really cool. I, I'm just, this is so much fun. I've never done this before, seeing all y'all watching this. This is great. So please let us know if you have enjoyed this. Either shoot a little email to us or um, to one of us that works here, if you're friends with any of us. And just let us know if it's something that you would like to see, if there's a specific thing that you would like to see on a Facebook Live chat. It doesn't take too long, and it... Um, Hey, Callie, how are you? <laughs> Thank you. It. Oh, I get very distracted because now I just want to say hi to all my friends. Um, Jeannie wants to know if you miss her. I do miss Jeannie. Who do I have to laugh with here? I mean, really. Now, Jeannie, you should probably be playing a drinking game at home with us. Um, the idea behind these Facebook Lives is just to keep connected in a very difficult time that we're all going through. Keep your interest in knitting up. It's a great thing to be doing while you're you know, stuck in kind of an isolated atmosphere. And I know for some of you that um, get a little bit down in the dumps, this can, a creative outlet can really help with that. If you go outside and take a walk and then come in and start knitting, it's really a nice uplifting thing. I find that it's helping me get through this quite nicely. I hope to have several projects done by the time this ends, but I also hope to have very few done because I want it to end sooner. Um, but we're all doing the best we can, and I know you guys are just knitting away and really enjoying the time to get caught up on things. So if nobody has any questions, I'm going to sign off for now. I've taken 15 minutes of your afternoon. And like I said, please let us know if you enjoyed this. If you are interested in ordering any soft yak um, from us or anything else for that matter, just shoot us an email. Someone will call. We'll give you all the information like we if you need a private appointment to come in to look at the yarn, we have all the safety precautions in place. We'll be happy to work with you. We can refer you to color cards um, online where you might be able to do it totally online. We still are offering free shipping. We are offering free delivery within a 10 mile radius. If you are out and about and you needing that car ride, just 
pull up to the door, honk the horn, and somebody will be there to bring it out to you. Just have to kind of set up an appointment with us and we'll, um, we'll get you off and running with anything that you want. So Emily, you are asking how much are the skeins? So each skein of yarn is 1450 and the yardage on the skein is, let's see, Da, 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 da. 148. 148 yards so that's pretty good that's good what? anything else that I can answer well I hope you enjoyed this needle size. Um, needle size again this is a DK it's soft yak DK but it's a heavier DK so we have worked projects and this on a six and on a seven, um, right? The both of these moonwake cowls are being done that I showed you. They're being done on a size seven. That's the needle, and um, it's working up great. Sometimes you go up a little higher when you're doing stranded color work. So if you were just doing a stockinette stitch or maybe a garter stitch, a size six would work. But um, you kind of want to, you know, if you're doing a garment, you want to check your gauge. If you're doing something that doesn't necessarily require fitting, then you want to do it, you know, knit up a little swatch and make sure you like the way it looks. Is that hat appropriate for a new knitter? This hat is completely, a, well, as a new knitter, if you know how to cast on, do the new knit stitch and the purl stitch, you've got it all down you're going to be working in the round so that's another skill that it would take and then when you get to the top you have to know how to do some decreases all right because that's what makes the top close up at the up at the top and this is actually a hat that we're going to be working with in our beginning knitting series that I am doing with my co-worker Suzanne she films me and keeps me sane. This is the next project we're gonna do. Uh, the, the pearl and the cast off is gonna be out either tonight or tomorrow night. Then the next one in the series is a very simple headband, and then we're gonna start on this hat. But again, the skills for this are casting on, knitting, purling to make your rib, stockinette, which is just round and round and round and round when you're going in the round, purling, and then you do have to do some decreases and that usually involves putting onto double points. So sometimes there's a little bit of instruction involved there, but it is a nice first hat. It's a lot of fun, especially because you get to show to off two colors and it's so soft. I would wear this. Um, we sent her the yarn in Florida and she loved oh, your check. Good, good, thank you. I am not comfortable with this stuff at all. When I get filmed for those, it's much easier because Suzanne can take several takes because I usually wind up with a lot of expletives and run on sentences and so on and so forth. So this is very awkward, but I'm kind of enjoying it. I like these little comments. I think this is really fun. All right, I am going to you look <laughs> Thank you, Christy. <laughs> Christy was just in here picking up her yarn for um, one of these Moonwake cowls because I think Emily Freed's inspired her. So we can thank Emily for that, one of our great customers. So please let us know what we can do for you. Again, stay safe, keep knitting, and let get us get in touch with us so we can answer any of your questions. Don't be frustrated by this. We want to make it work for everybody. So thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Should be an end. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finish.